This video will show you how to scan to your email and scan to Google Drive. Please note that scan to email does not support an attachment larger than 25 megabytes. Scan to Google Drive supports up to 200 megabytes in size and is currently for faculty and staff use only. Firstly, place your original face up into the document feeder or face down on the glass plate. Then tap the Unis ID card at the scanner to log in. Press scan button, then tap scan to email. You can leave the default subject, file name, and scan settings. Select the checkbox prompt for more pages if you're scanning more than one page through the glass plate. Then simply press start scanning. If you require settings other than the defaults, press the settings button, the default settings are as highlighted, you can change them on this screen. Please note that a higher DPI means a higher resolution level, and it will make the file larger. If you are satisfied with the settings, press start scanning button. In this demo, I'm scanning two pages through the scanner glass, so I need to put another page after finish scanning the first page, then press scan more pages. Once done, press finish and send. You will then receive an email like this with the attachment. Scan to Google Drive is quite similar with scan to email, you need to press the scan button, then scan to Google Drive. Change the scan setting if required, then press start scanning. The only difference is that you need to grant papercut access to your Google Drive for the first time. This is for papercut to upload the scan file to your Google Drive. Open the email you receive from scans at papercut.com after scanning, click login to Google Drive, log in with your Unis account if it requires, then click allow button. Once you grant permissions, the file you scan will be saved in a folder named Scans for Papercut MF in your My Drive. You will also receive an email like this with the link goes to the scan file, so you don't have to locate it in your Google Drive. 